Hello guys, welcome to my channel study hub. Uh, this is the, today I will discuss about the light last part lens and the numerical problems all will be given in the description box. I will just discuss about their utility or lens, image formations, mirror formula, the, uh, lens formula magnification, internal, total internal reflection and that's the end of the chapter, that will be the end of the chapter. After I am sure after the end of the, this chapter, you will be easy to give, to give an answer, give any answers of any questions uh, regarding these chapters. Okay? And I am also very happy you, you are always <coughs> subscribing my channels and likes and share you are doing and so many comments you are commenting. I am very happy. So I will with you, always with you. And don't get nervous, whatever the problem, please inform me as soon as possible okay so let's start so what is lens spherical lens lens uh, what is mirror i have discussed for the function of mirror concave mirror convex mirror same as same thing, a little bit different. Lens is a transparent medium bounded by two refracting surfaces. Mirror is the reflecting surface, only one. Out here, lens, it is the transparent medium bounded by two refracting surfaces. Okay? So it is of two types. One is convex lens, another is concave lens. What is convex lens? What do you see? Convex lens, what do you see? It is also called the converging lens and it is also called the diverging lens. What do you see? After the see out here, in case of mirror, the parallel ray of light or principal axis, they converge at a particular point of focus. That's what is called the converging lens. Convex lens is called the converging lens. In case of concave lens, what do you see? The parallel ray of principal axis, they divert. They divert and meet at a particular point of focus. This is known as the diverging lens. Okay? And what is the other two differences is that what do you see out here? This point. It is this, this end. This end. What is this? This is pointed. This is pointed. And in the middle, it is very thick. To, to end part is thin. Middle part is thick. That is the convex lens. And out here, what is middle part is thin. To end part is thick. This is okay. This is the difference. Thick. This is the this is thick middle part convex okay and what are the three point third point if you uh, come close to your eye it forms a magnified image in case of convex lens close to eye it forms magnified image in case of in case of concave lens it will diminish size will be small if you close to the eye it forms a diminished image that is the uh, short image will form okay this is the just uh, difference of convex and concave lens okay and what you see out here in the uh, case of mirror what we see the three things in case of what we out here Thirteen the ray parallel to the principal axis always passes after refraction it goes to within the focus okay it go within the focus same thing after it, it if it goes parallel to the pencil it 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 goes to the focus clear if a ray of light goes towards the focus focus it will refract towards the parallel to the principal axis. Yes. If a ray of light goes to the focus, yes, goes to the focus, it will go after refraction to the parallel of principal axis. Focus may jayega to parallel of axis ka, principal axis ka. Same thing in case of concave lens, it, it will to the focus it will reflect towards the parallel of the principal focus. Okay? Same thing just as the mirror. 
Okay. If a ray of light goes to the center, optical center, it will go straight forward. Suppose a ray of light goes to the optical center. In this way, it will go towards this. No diffraction will take place. Same thing out also. If a ray of light goes towards the optical center, it will without diffraction, no deviation, it will go straight forward. Okay, diffraction will straight. So what you see in case of mirror, along with the parallel to the principal axis goes to the focus. If a wave goes with along with focus, it will reflect parallel to the principal axis and optical center straight forward. Okay, this is the same as just as mirror. Okay, now. What is the, how is the image formed in case of lens, concave or convex? Same thing, so just as mirror. What you see in the mirror? Uh, con, con, convex mirror, concave mirror, what is the image form? Uh, in, in case of there are same thing, what we discuss out here? Same thing. This is a con, con, convex lens. This is optical center. This is the principal axis. Okay. This is optical center. This is 2F1, F2, 2F2. Okay. So, how the image will form in case of convex or concave lens? It is similar to that of the mirror. Okay. Same thing. Suppose an object has six conditions happen. What is the six conditions? When the object is at infinity. At infinity, at infinity, object is at infinity, image form will form. So, object infinity, image will form focus at focus, the image at focus. Same thing, just like mirror, object reverse, object is at focus, image will be at infinity. And in first case, the object size and here the image size will be. And highly diminished point like structure. Okay. Same thing also this. When the object is at infinity, as is at beyond 2f. Beyond 2f. When the object is beyond 2f, the image will be in between 2f1 and f2. 2f2 and f2. In between 2f2 and f2. When the object is at 2f1, or the image, image also at 2f2. Image also at 2f2 and same size. We have the same size. Same size. Okay. And when the object is at in between focus and O, optical center, the behind the object. Behind the object. Image will form behind the object. Here. Yeah. This is the six. At focus, infinity, focus, beyond 2f. At 2f, in between 2f, f, in between this. This is the six conditions in case of mirror also, in case of lens also. So, most of the cases, what you see at case of infinity, it is highly diminished. In beyond that 2f, what is that? It will be beyond 2f, object image size will be diminished. At 2f, same size. And other cases, the object image, the image of image, the height of the wall, size of the image will be high. Large, enlarged, okay. And only case they are infinity, diminished, highly diminished, beyond 2 air, it will be diminished, at 2 air, it will be object size and image size will be same, okay. So, next comes the lens formula. What is lens formula? So, object image, you have to draw, practice at large, same thing just like mirror. So, don't get confused. I have already discussed in case of mirror, you have to, so what we see, in case of mirror formula, what we see, uh, suppose, here is the object, suppose, um, this is F, and object is out here, image, this is the image, this is the object, U, at least, and always you can 
measure the distance from the optical center to the object. This is the distance. And also from the optical center to the image distance. This is the image this object distance and this is the image distance. Okay? Object distance, U, image distance, V, image distance, goes to V, focal length, F, focal length, F. So, what is the mirror formula? What we have this, uh, what is the mirror formula we have seen? 1 by U plus 1 by B goes to 1 by F. But in case of lens, what will be the formula? 1 by V minus 1 by U equals to 1 by F. This is the mirror formula. Less uh, less formula. 1 by F equals to 1 by B minus 1 by U. One thing you must remember in this case, the table conveys. You must remember here from the left side, left side, all distance will be negative. Okay? Left side, all distance will be negative. Downward, always be negative. Clear? Downward side, negative. Image. Upward, all positive. Height. Object upward, positive. Left from this, negative. From optical center to right side, all are positive. The right side upward, positive. The left side downward, negative. Remind it. And in case of convex lens, F is always positive. In case of convex lens, you must remind it. In case of convex lens, convex a always positive in case of concave f equals to negative always remind it okay f focal length always be positive concave lens focal length always be negative so in that case if you find out and besides this you have to remind objects always in, in the left side so object here you always be negative here you always be negative remind it in case of lens you always minus negative because it is in the left side okay and in that case that's middle formula completed you have to apply all these things just remind it then left side negative right side positive upside positive lower downside negative and in case of convex lens f is positive in case of concave lens f is negative remind it and apply this formula and all the sums you can easily can solve and all the sums i, am, I have already given in the description box go through this and practice it if any problem so if you go go through that problem i have uh, done the, all the solve solution out there see the solution i will see you will be clear to you until clear something if not clear ask me okay so uh, one thing is this the power of the lens on the power power means 1 by f it is uh, in units diameter diameter in meter or centimeter the power of the lens equals to 1 by f and art, not, not last is magnification magnification in case of mirror you have done the magnification in case of lens the magnification m equals to H dash by H. What is H dash? The size of the image, height of the image, or H key, height of the object. In some cases, where the object distance is not given. In that case, height of the height of the object is given. Height of the image is given. In that case, magnification or magnification equals to H dash by H1. Suppose this is the last part. Suppose uh, an object is enlarged, suppose 8 cm and height is 4 cm. So what is the magnification? 8 by 4 equals to 2. That is the height of the image. Is 2 times that of the object. 2 times that of the object. This is the, for this clarification, magnification is required h1 by h. Okay? h1 by h. Okay? Or v by u. Or v by u. Clear? So I hope. All these chapters is still clear to you. I think 
no problem will arise if any problem ask me comment me you may comment us i am ready to solve you easily and there and there okay so good night goodbye